What up? This is Caroline with the CWC podcast, where we believe that life without your favorite foods is not worth living. I'm going to be talking a lot about my journey to food freedom. And of course, I will always keep it real by sharing the good, the bad, and of course, the ugly. Okay, we're back. This is episode three. I filmed episode two yesterday. I had this like wonderful plan in my head of, so I'm gonna do one every week. Like I wanna drop a podcast episode every single week. I wanna drop a podcast episode every week. On Fridays, I think is what we're gonna do. Um, I've had a lot of you asking, how often are you gonna do them? So look for them on Fridays. Um, So in my head, you know, I'll film them on Monday and then I'll get everything over to JJ. He can edit and, and get it all put together and then have it to me before Friday so I can post. And it's funny how I felt compelled to do this again today. Um, because I told you guys, this is kind of replacing my live videos that I have been doing. And when I would hop on a live, I would just do it when I felt compelled to do it. So sometimes it was three days in a row. Sometimes it was like, I would go a couple weeks without doing one, which I'm not going to do that now that I have this podcast. But, um, today I felt compelled to come on again. And I'm going to tell you why it's been a really rough morning to say the least. And I'm going to share that with you guys because I promised. And that when I started doing this, that I was going to share probably more than I share when I do my lives. Um, just because I really want this to be a space where you guys can come to get real shit and hear real stories of real struggles, real triumphs, real everything. I don't just want to share like the great things. I don't always like, I hate that. And it's always bothered me. You know, when I see things on social media, that's just like a portrait of perfection because that's not life. And, and I, on the flip side, I also want to like totally respect, like, you know, someone else's decision not to want to share all their shit. That's, that's, I don't want to say everybody has to, I'm choosing to, because I feel like when I come on and do a video or now a podcast where I'm sharing like a really, really tough thing to talk about in my life, that is when, that's when I have the most amazing feedback of, wow, what you said really resonated and I was having a really hard time too. And I don't know, it just, it resonates more. Um, you know, the one I'm coming on here talking about how wonderful everything always is. <laughs> and it was so, I mean, to be honest, like this couldn't be happening at a better time because yesterday I was like literally talking about how I started the community and how amazing, and it is, it's like so wonderfully amazing, but like today's been different. So I'm going to start from, start from the beginning. So, um, we're in the process of selling our house and moving. And that's another long story and I will talk about it in a future podcast, but, um, or episode, I guess, podcast episode, (laughs) but we, um, have been in the process of selling our house and we got a buyer, had inspections, everything went amazing. Like we were, we were literally talking last night about how like in three weeks, we're going to be moving. So we've like got our other, you know, we're building a new house. So we got our mobile home ready to put on our new land, literally went this morning and signed off on that. Um, Just all these things that are about to go down, you know, when you move, like we have boxes everywhere. We've already like gone through our house and packed everything that we can. And this morning I, after, you know, being on the phone with the hospital about this like astronomical bill that is so fucking ridiculous. Like you step like I'll, and again, I'll go through all this, but like Kyler had to go, um, some girl at camp, like bent his arm back behind his back, (laughs) bent, pulled his arm like behind his back. And, you know, they thought his shoulder was dislocated. So Josh took him to the emergency room and, you know, we're self-employed, both of us. So we don't have insurance. And, you know, in times like that, it's, if you're self-employed, you know what I'm talking about. They basically like bend you over, 
and then they just ram it. Like, that's what happens when you have to go to the hospital. And he went to get him checked out. They sat in triage, didn't even get in, like, admitted to a room. Like, they did x-rays. That's it. And we got a $1,500 bill. And it was like $400 was for the radiology for the x-ray. And I said, this is totally fine. Like, they did the x-ray. But like $1,000, like, what's that for? He didn't even get into a room. Like, a, do- a doctor didn't even examine him. So what is that for? And she's like, well, when you come in, that's how much it is. And I was just like... I mean, holding back every obscenity I could think of that I wanted to say. And, you know, I got off the phone dealing with that. And Josh called and he was like, well, our buyer backed out. And I was like, come come again? Like, what? What just, what, wait, say that again. What just happened? Like, what, that's not real. Like, what? And he was like, yeah, our buyer backed out. And I was like, and you know, you know that episode? (laughs) of sex in the city where Carrie and Aiden are moving in together and he's like demoing a wall and he's going to open up that apartment to the side of her. And, and then that old lady like (laughs) said she needed like 30 extra days or something. And Carrie goes to tell Aiden and he's like, and she thinks like he's not freaking out about anything and she's freaking out the whole time. And so she's like worried, like, why isn't he freaking out? Like, and then he goes, fuck, what the fuck are we going to fucking do? <laughs> That's what I did. And she's like, oh, thank God, you're a human like me. You're, you're pissed off and crazy, like freaking out too. And he's like, yeah, we can't live like this. So it was literally a moment of that. And I was like, Aiden, I'm like, what the fuck are we going to fucking do? <laughs> and I mean, just that, that feeling of like when you get news like that where it's like, what the, like, what are we going to do? Anyway, we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. But like, it's that moment of just like, man, I want to go back 10 minutes before you told me that. (laughs) I was like blasting Shania Twain in my car and singing. And anyway, um, I digress. So that's why, so I did a video in the community. I mean, I burst into tears. Like I, I pulled my car over and just started bawling and I am not a crier. I'm not a crier. You guys are going to figure this about out about me real quick. I don't cry. Like I, I, have, I, I could count on two hands the uh, times I've cried in my entire life. Like I just, I'm not a crier. I don't like showing emotion. It's very difficult for me. Um, and I was just, I just felt like empty. Like I just, what now? So, um, I won't go into detail. We, we have, a plan. We're going to be just fine. It's okay. My point of sharing this with you is to share with you that, you know, life always happens. And before I started my transformation, I would have handled this so incredibly differently. And and here real quick, I'm going to interject. I am not handling this perfectly. I'm probably going to have some cocktails tonight. I'm definitely going to go work out and get some frustration out at the gym, which prior to this, I wouldn't have done that. I would have completely let this be, okay, this is my excuse. This is my out. I'm going to go off the rails. I'm done with this diet. You know, whatever diet I was on at the time, I'm done. I'm done with this diet. I'm not doing it. Like I have too much on my plate. You know, why does this always happen to me? Um, Those are the reactions I would have had prior to me doing work on myself for the past seven years, that, that would have been my reaction. You know, why me? Why me? This is horrible. It gives me an excuse to eat like an asshole, get off on my plan. Well, does that ever help? No, it it doesn't ever help. And I know that now. Um, so in an effort to pass along to you guys that, you know, no matter what you're going through and and here's the thing, I'm also going to still like, I'm never going to minimize my feelings about something. I've learned not to do that. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, I am going to sit here and say like, I'm, you know, there's, this isn't the end of the world. It's not (laughs) my my family's healthy. Like that, that is something I, that's my silver lining. So I'm looking at that silver lining. You guys, I never used to look at that silver lining. I couldn't see it. Like there was never a silver lining. I was only focused in on the negative. With that being said, I'm still allowing myself to feel real fucking pissed about this. (laughs) Like I'm still, don't get that twisted. I am still allowing myself to be fucking mad. Um, because it's a situation that warrants, you know, that anyway, um, I want you guys to take everything I'm saying. I want you to really like 
apply this to you too because it's been a long time in figuring out how to deal with this these things that come up and you know what there is no good way to handle it however you handle it is the best way um the best way is to allow yourself to feel it and to process it and move let it move through you so that, i mean like that's i'm going to the gym after i finish this i'm going to the gym um i'm going i'm literally going to get this frustration out um, I'm, I'm shocked that I haven't started crying. I started crying in the parking lot, like I said, and then I went live in the community and shared it with all of my girls. And, you know, of course they were all like, oh my God, like this, this video was for me. Like I'm feeling the same way with, you know, this, this, and this that I have going on in my life. And it's nice hearing someone else struggle. And I'm sorry, I hate to say that. Not that people revel in it. It's nice. It's comforting to hear that someone else is going through something that, you know, cause when you go through those things, you feel very lonely. And it's not fun to then go on Facebook and see someone living like a perfect life. Um, so don't don't worry. I'll always <laughs> I'll always share like the the I told you in my intro. It says I'm going to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. To you know today I'm sharing the ugly. And I didn't think it would happen so early on in the podcast. To be honest, like this is episode three, and I I totally had like a different plan for episode three. But this is how the vibe is going to go from here on out. So get ready. Um, I think I hit all these. I mean, my notes today are on a sticky note. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I want to touch on, this is why I have notes, choices. So, you know, like I said before, you know, we're, we're all in control of our own choices, especially with what we eat every day. So every time you sit down to eat a meal, you're making a choice. It's not a good choice. It's not a bad choice. It's just a choice. It's a choice. That's it. Don't put thought behind it except for before you do it. So, you know, right before, just remind yourself, like I'm making a choice with, you know, am I stopping and getting a donut today? If I do, it's okay. There doesn't need to be guilt involved. It's, it's a fucking donut. If you're sitting down to have your meal and you're eating on your plan, good. And that, you know, think of that before you eat, it only takes five minutes to eat. You've got that choice. And I'm, I'm tying this into everything that went on today because like I said before, I would have used this as an excuse to totally just go off the rails and binge for no reason. You know, food isn't, food can comfort you, but not in those situations when you're using it to just like almost hate eat, it doesn't solve anything. If you're fitting something into your day, like I fit ice cream into my day last night and it was, I, I have this small Yeti cup that I eat it out of, that way it keeps it cold. I hate melted ice cream, it's disgusting. And then I heat my hot fudge up in a separate bowl because I don't like it melting my ice cream. So I just do my little dips and it's always measured out. So it's so amazing that that is comforting to be able to sit down and eat that. It already fits in my day. I feel good about it. I'm not restricting anything. Ice cream's not off limits. Nothing's off limits. I'm enjoying it. That is soothing. But to sit down and to hate eat for no reason and to rush through it and not even enjoy it, that's never going to make you happy. It won't. Um, but remember that you're always in full control of that. So like, I want to reiterate that, you know, when these things happen, you feel very out of control. I felt so out of control this morning. I mean, I still kind of do. And it's, I, I immediately went to what can I control? And I don't know if this is just like an OCD personality trait, but I'm, I'm now I'm like, what can I control? what I got to grasp onto that. You know, I can control if I go to the gym, I can control if I follow my meal plan and I'm going to do those things because that makes me feel safe and comforted. And I don't know why I'm, t I, that's, that's how I feel. So, um, I think the last thing I want to talk about is and this all ties together and it's funny. So I posted yesterday on my Instagram story, you know, I did the question thing and I said, you know, tell me what you guys want to hear. I want to know what you want me to talk about on the podcast. This podcast is for you and I'm going to have guests on. This is not just going to be me. I already have like a handful of guests that I have planned that are going to come on and share their expertise and what they do to help you guys as well. But this podcast is for you. So I want to hear what you want me to talk about. What do you struggle with? And I mean, I've just... 
I feel like it's my life's calling to be a guinea pig in a in a good way. Like I, I, I will be the guinea pig. I will share with you what you're struggling with that I've sh- struggled with that same thing, and then I'm going to tell you what I have learned that helps how to deal with it. So, um, yesterday, one of the answers on my question of what do you want to hear was, what did she say? She said, I I thought that you and Pooh Bear never had a cross word at each other, so share more about that. Basically saying like, you know, do you and Pooh Bear fight? Or do you and Pooh Bear ever, like you seem like you have such a great relationship. And of course we fight. (laughs) We've been together since we were 17, you guys. Like 17, I'm 37. (laughs) Like there's times I wanna take his head and drop kick it into the galaxy. (laughs) And I'm quite certain that there's like lots more times that he's wanted to do that with me. Um, Everyone, anyone who's married fights. They have knocked down drag out fight. That's normal. Um, Especially the like the longer that you've been together. Why is this thing shaking? My microphone is shaking there. Um, that's just another thing. And you know, Pooh Bear, he's not going to sit down and put all the time. <laughs> he ain't going to listen to this. <laughs> well, so I'm going to go into that. I'm going to pick an episode and we're going to talk about it, um, again, because like, it's, it's just that like, gosh, their life looks so, you know, I, I've been there when I look at someone's life on Instagram or life on Facebook and I'm like, man, everything, they just, they've got it figured out. Like they must never argue. They've like got everything going on, and it's it, that's just not that's just not it. That's not always the case. Life is life, um, and there's always struggles. So we are going to talk about those struggles in this podcast all the time. I'm also going to talk about the good. I'm also going to talk about the bad, and obviously today is we're talking about the ugly, and um, it it's. I, 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 like I said, I, I don't know. I have a really weird feeling now about today. It did not go the way I wanted to. I was not expecting that phone call. I, w- I mean, I'm telling you, it hit me over the head. Like, I really think it just now settled in when I was, <laughs> I think it just settled in. I was literally staring at my mini fridge and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but it's it's really, I mean, ultimately, it's how you deal with those situations and to cap, to really like close this episode. Tie this into, I've heard so many times, I, I can't start something right now because of this, this, and this. I can't do this because this happened. This just isn't a good time. I'm gonna tell you guys, there's never a good time to start. Never. It's like having kids. People say, wait till you're ready. You're never fucking ready to have kids. Let me just blow that shit wide open. You are never ready to have kids. Just like you're really never to have responsibilities as an adult. Like you're never ready for those big things. You're never going to be ready to fully commit to a, I'm not even going to say diet, but like you're not. And, and, and when the problem is when you go into those things with that mentality of I'm, I'm ready Everything's lined up. My life is perfect right now. Let's do it. I'm ready. What happens two weeks in? The floor falls out from underneath you. And you're like, I can't do it right now. I'll wait. I'll start again six months. And then what happens? Six months pass and you're mad at yourself and you get really mad to where you're like, all right, I'm done. I'm ready to get started again. And this cycle goes on. I did this for years. I did this for 30 30 years of my life, I said, I'll start Monday, I'll start Monday. And then something happened Wednesday. So I went on a bender from Wednesday to Sunday and I started back on Monday again and I could never stick with anything. It was miserable, it was restrictive. I thought I had to be perfect. And that's my one main point I wanna drive home with this episode is you're never going to be ready and you're never gonna be perfect. So stop expecting everything to align for you to start working on yourself. It won't align. I promise. I can assure you. And please stop. Please stop thinking that you've got it. Like once you start, it has to go a certain way. 
Shit's never gonna go a certain way. You're never going to be perfect. You will never have a perfect week. I can assure you of that. I'm not, that's not me being negative. That is me being realistic. When you go into it and know, and you know, we prep our girls when they sign up, when our clients sign up, we say, take one thing at a time. Don't, don't start the journaling and the meditating and the workouts and the meal plan and the macros. Don't start all of it at once. That's literally the first line in our welcome email. Don't start all of it at once. Take one thing at a time. When you start something drastic and you throw everything at you, it's very overwhelming and people can't handle all that at once. It's too much and you quit. And then you just repeat that cycle over and over. You never make real change. Instead, and this is for anyone who, this is for anyone listening who is a client. This is for anyone listening who is not a client. This is for all of you guys. Like if you are thinking about starting something, stop thinking it has to be perfect. Stop thinking that your life has to be perfect for you to implement it. Know that shit's gonna go awry. Know that you're not gonna have a perfect week every week and do what you can. You guys, I have two clients, um, it's a husband and wife. They started, I think they're on their 15th week and they sent me their progress pictures last week and they have, they're starting to show progress. And it's small, you know, we're gonna go into the, like, don't compare yourself in a later episode, cause that's a whole episode on its own. But I'm so proud of them because they started and they've got a newborn, not a newborn, I say newborn, he's one, but he's still, why does I keep shaking? My microphone is shaking and it's driving me insane. I need to figure that out before the next episode. They're, um, they're sleep deprived. He's one and he's like cutting molars and he's not sleeping. So she's averaging four hours a night. He's averaging five. He has to get up and go to work. He just started work again and he's a physician and they've got a lot going on and, and her mom is living with them. Like there's a lot of things in like at play in the back, like in the back of the house, there's a lot of stuff going on that's, you know, so when they started, she was just going through the motion. She was going to the gym. She was doing what I told her to do. So was he, and they were exhausted and they were making no progress. None, none. I mean, they sent me their pictures and they were like, well, this is defeating. And I'm like, well, what's, you know, you know, you're not sleeping. Let's take the workouts out of it. Like you don't need to be working out if you're already sleep deprived, that's not going to help. And they're like, well, now I'm really going to go backwards. Like if I'm not even working out and I was like, no, just don't let's just take working out off of the schedule, especially for her. Um, because he's going to work. She's mainly staying at home with, with their son. And so I was like, no workouts. Both of them stopped. She stopped completely working out. She took it off her plate. She's just following her macros and journaling. He's working out half the time. So he's doing 50% of what he was doing. They sent me their progress pictures last week for the first time. They both saw progress, actually quite significant progress, especially if you're talking about like, she hasn't been to the gym at all. So when she was like forcing herself to work out, during that sleep deprivation, her body was like, stop. I can't, I, I, I am not at the position to do anything to help you. <laughs> like I'm running on fumes and now you're adding to those fumes. Your body is like car, you guys. So by forcing her to rest and not work out at all, her body started making progress just with her following macros. He is now making progress, working out half the time. And I say this, because it ties into you don't have to work out five days a week, eat perfectly seven days a week, do all this crazy cardio, be perfect in your life to make progress. You cannot be 100% in all aspects. It, it's not possible, especially when you are married, you have kids, you have a job, you've got family, like it, you can't, you'll spread yourself so thin that nothing will happen except for you'll just have a nervous breakdown. So that's kind of a story I wanted to share and tie it all in. Um, things are never going to be perfect in your life. You are never going to be perfect on your diet. Write that down right now. Start now. There's never a good time to start. Today's your best day. Start today. A year ago today, a year ago, you'll wish you would have started today. So I don't know, I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't start seven years ago. Did I want to? No. 
I didn't magically wake up and have an epiphany that this is the perfect day for me to start my fitness journey. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it two weeks in. I still didn't want to do it three months in. Even at six months, I was like, I don't know that I want to keep doing this. It sucks. <laughs> That's the whole point of our community is we make it not suck. So there's no restrictions. Like we just basically teach you how to work in those things that you love so that you can do it long term. That's the end of the day. Consistency is the winner. Someone that's consistent will beat out the hardest working person in the room every single time, every day. That's what I'm going to leave you with. Episode three, I'm going to sign out. If you guys are not already, you need to go find me on Instagram. I post a lot. I post mainly there every day on my story. Um, I'm going to put all of, I'll have all of my links to all my social media and everything on in the show notes for you. So episode three, wrapping it up. If you guys ever want to know, if you ever want me to talk about something, DM me, email me, reach out, comment. If you're watching this on the YouTube, put it in the comments and I will add it to my agenda. All right. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will talk to you later. Thank you for checking out the CWC podcast. If you want to learn more about our community, make sure to check out the show notes. 